What's up guys? Hold on as I switch as I move my microphone over. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. So uh when we left off we just got awesome ass Paul and Paul is going to be our new member of our team. So we gotta train him up a little bit. We're gonna go check a whole bunch of shit out, see what's going on over at this uh this gym over here. This should be a good time. Get, get this should be a pretty good place to get Paul some levels, I I might say. So this is the uh oh, I accidentally battled this guy. It's alright. This guy's got strategy though, so he's gonna show me how strategy can beat brute strength. Yeah, well, fuck you, asshole. Who says I don't have strategy, huh? Look at this. Look at this dick face and his four pokeballs in his hand. You have, you have. He has four pokeballs in his hand, but he has one pokeball apparently. Uh, he only has one hypno. So, since Paul is a psychic type, he can't really do anything to hypno. I'm gonna have to switch into Cordelius to uh, just pretty much. Holy shit. I'm almost dead. Actually, I'll just leave Cordelius up in here. Oh my god, one more! Yeah! Alright, Hypno just got raped. Alright, defeated the juggler. Shouldn't battle that guy. Um, Apparently my brute force is too much for you. Alright, let's go check this out. So, yo, champ in the making. Fuchsia City Gym is riddled with invisible walls. Koga might appear close, but he's blocked off. You have to find gaps in the walls to reach him. All right, so that should be pretty fucking extreme. Let's, let's look at this. Future City Pokemon Gym. Leader, Koga. Winning trainers, Ashley. Fuck Ashley! Again! I'm gonna say that every time, but she gets here. She, Ashley just gets around, I'm telling you. She gets here every time before me. That dumbass slut. <laughs> oh my god, I only say this because, like, I know that she's watching, and it's funny because... Because she can't do anything about it, because usually... Sometimes we're in Skype calls when we record this, so she can hear me, but now... Yeah, there's nothing she can say now. Yeah, that's right. I went there, actually. Alright, Juggler wants to fight. He's got a Drowsy at level 31, and I have a Paul at level 15, so that's not gonna help. I'll go into Sergeant Sting, and then just Twin Needle the shit. Twin Needle the shit out of that Drowsy. So, Paul could level 16, that's fantastic. Drowsy's coming in again, and I'm gonna go back into Paul. So, now I'm gonna go back into Sergeant Sting, and this guy's gonna get Twin Needled. Pretty much a one-hit KO because Beedrill is just beasting it at this part of the game. Like, this is Beedrill's strong point for sure. So, Sergeant Sting gained 337 points and Kadabra is coming out. So, Kadabra, meet Paul, and Paul, switch the fuck out of there. And Sergeant Sting actually takes a shitload of damage from those confusions. You can't disable anything if I haven't used it yet, dumbass. God, retards these days, right? Alright, so Twin Needle kills it! Damn right, and Kadabra has fainted. So Paul agreed to level 17, going up, getting up there, Paul. Fantastic. And uh, he's got one more Pokemon, which is a Drowsy. So Paul can take this easily, and then we're going to switch into oh, Sergeant Sting again. This is getting repetitive. I've got to, oh, shit, Sergeant Sting died. That's extreme. Let's see. What else What else do I have that can kill this guy. I guess balls could do it, right? These things are pretty special defensive. Oh my god, don't swift. Don't disable my swift. You bitch. Alright, I'm done for. You're damn right you are, juggler. You just got your ass handed to you. Alright, so I got $1,085. Let's go back to the Poke Center while we can and heal up our Pokemons. So you can actually see through the pink that there's like invisible walls. I mean, they're not very invisible. I mean, I guess they'd be, they would be invisible if you were blind, but I mean, honestly, you, you, can, you can see those pretty easy. It's they're, they're not hiding anywhere. Alright, so just gotta heal up Paul and friends, and we are back on our way to the, uh... To, to, to kick Koga's ass. You know, that guy's got it coming to him. Alright. Let's see you beat my special techniques. Alright, buddy, let's see your special techniques. He probably has, like, one Hypno, and that's his cool-ass technique. Alright, so again, this guy has four Pokeballs in his hand, but he only has two Pokemon. Do you just... Do you juggle with empty Pokeballs? That's what I want to know. God. Alright, so this guy's got a drowsy at level 34, and Paul is, uh, nowhere close to level 34. God damn it. But let's go into Sergeant Sting, and just kill it off with a twin needle. Or two. Paul learned Disable. Hell yes. Paul now knows something other than confusion. That's fantastic. Congratulations, Paul. We should throw Paul a party, because he just learned a new move. That's our little babies growing up, I guess. And that's how, how sad. Alrighty, so uh, we can't go up this way because there's a damn wall, but I wanted to battle that guy anyways, so 
Yeah, right, this maze is actually very probably one of the easiest mazes. I mean, I don't know. Actually, I don't even remember which what what what, what would be the 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 easiest maze in Pokemon. I don't know. This guy studies the ways of the Ninja Master Co Ninja Master Koga. That's that's hard to say. Ninja Master Koga. Say that ten times fast. Ninja Master Co <laughs> Cobra. I, I don't know. This guy has a fishing pole for some damn reason. No wait, no, that's not a fishing pole. That's that's a whip. I thought that was a really like bent fishing pole. <laughs> oh my god, I'm stupid. Holy shit, it's an Arbok. Look at how cool Arbok Sprite is. That is awesome. Let's see if uh, let's see if Paul can even take an attack. Let's see how much this confusion does. Oh god, bite super effective. Holy shit, almost killed me. And my confusion does like nothing. So let's go to who should we go to? Cordelius. Let's do it, Cordelius. Body slam that hoe. All right, Paul grew to level 19. That's great. We're almost level 20. I guess that's that's definitely some progress. Now this guy's got a sand slash. I will go into Paul, and then I'm gonna go back into. You're actually now. I'll go into marijuana. And kill this fool with a Mega Drain. Get my HP back, because that's how I do it. I obviously still run shit up in here. Alright, so Sand Slash dies. Now his last Pokemon is a Arbok. So excuse me as I switch back into Cordelius. And uh, Body Slam this guy a few times. There we go. So Paul grew to level 20. That's awesome. Cordelius grew to level 34. That is that is also awesome. I'm very proud of my Pokemon. Okay, so we go up to the very top. We can go through this thing. I'm going to battle everybody. Um, I think you go far to the left, and that's how you do it. What's up, man? Stop right there! Our invisible walls have you frustrated? Not at all, actually. I can see perfectly fine. I mean, I'm not blind. I have two eyes. I'm... I can see your invisible, s quotes, walls. I mean, I, I'm not stupid. Alright, this guy's got a sand slash for some damn reason. Why do these guys have sand slashes? That is very random. Let's go into marijuana, though, because marijuana can kill this fool. Because he's got Mega Drain, and this is a sand slash, because... Since he's made of sand, he's he's weak against grass for some reason because that's how Pokemon logic works. So Tamer's about to use an Arbok, gonna switch back into Paul. And now I'm gonna switch into balls. Might as well switch into balls because I'm gonna save Beedrill for the gym, but uh yeah, alright, so we defeated the Tamer. Thank you, me, for being so goddamn good at Pokemon. Master Koga comes from a long line of ninjas. If this guy's a ninja, why does he have Pokemon fight for him? If he was that, if he was such a ninja, he would be fighting himself. He wouldn't have to battle with his slave Pokemon. You know what I mean? I mean, like, I don't know. I just feel like if I was in Pokemon, I would definitely be the guy that would like bring out a machine gun if I lost and just fucking kill their Pokemon. Holy God, this guy's switched out. How random is that? Now we switched into a Hypno. Let's uh, let's hit this fool with a few Thunderbolts, and that should kill him. Oh my god, now he switched back into Drowsy. This guy is switching all over the place. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna T-bolt it three more times, and I'm poisoned. Oh god. So now he's got a Hypno. Let's go into Paul. And then bring in good old balls. And then Swift it for the kill. There we go. Paul grew to level 21. Yay! Thank you so much, Paul, for growing to level 30, 21. You're awesome. Let's walk back to the Poke Center real quick. Because my Pokemon are dead as shit, and they could they could use some healing. So I definitely can't wait to uh, to get to the gym leader. That, I mean that'd be great. We spent eight minutes just working Paul out, but it's all right. We'll beat the gym leader, and we'll be badass because we're gonna get a whole bunch of new shit to do, and that should be fun. So here we go. Here's the gym leader. This is Koga. Fua ha ha ha. A mere child like you dares to challenge me? Fuck yeah, I do. Very well. Shall I show you true terror as a ninja master? You shall feel the despair of poison and sleep techniques. So, pretty much what this guy is saying is he likes Hypno because... Or wait, no, not Hypno. Hypno just puts people to sleep. He has poison types, but he also puts you to sleep for some reason. I don't, I don't know. Get this guy a Hypno. Who knows what's going on. So he has a coughing. He leads off with a coughing. I've got Paul. I'm going to have to switch... Most likely into uh, Sergeant Sting early to get some uh, super effective twin needles off on this guy. I swear, playing in, in Generation 1 is going to make me so bad at the, competi the competitive side of black and white because it's so different. I mean, Bug is super effective against Poison for some reason. Who knows? But, uh, I mean, I guess that's cool. So, now his next Pokemon is a Muck. So, let's go ahead and switch back into Paul just so we can get the Muck experience because Muck is off a sh gives off a shitload of experience. Um... So that'll be good. Let's go into Cordelius now. See if we can uh, see if we can get him paralyzed with a body slam or something along the lines of that. 
And we did it. All right, perfect. So he's paralyzed. He's probably going to get me poisoned, but I'm not too worried about that because... I mean, I have like five Pokemon that can kill him. It's not its not too much trouble to take out a Muck. I mean, I can bring out Beedrill and that guy will just take, that, take him out for days. So I did get a critical hit on that Body Slam. That probably is going to help out a lot. He's, this guy's using X attacks like out the ass. What are you X attacking for, dude? I mean, you haven't even hit me with an attack and you're about to die. So what a waste of a Muck. That paralyzed Muck didn't get to do shit. So Paul grew to level 22. Hell yeah, Paul. Pauly boy. He's got... 24 special, 40 attack, 34 defense, 17 speed. I guess that's cool. He learned headbutt, which is great. Now he's got three moves. Holy God. This is, Paul is just doing great. He has confusion, headbutt, and disable. That's fantastic. Now he's got a coughing. He has two coughings for some reason. This guy's got asthma because... <laughs> Get it? Because he's coughing, he has asthma. I'm so fucking clever sometimes, it's ridiculous. So bring out Paul real quick, and then Sergeant Sting can finish it off with... A few twin needles, probably two of them actually. Come on, Sergeant Sting, twin needle, yeah! So he has one Pokemon left, and it is a Weezing. So I'm gonna switch back into Paul for one last time, and then I'm going to go into Sergeant Sting to kill it all. Oh my God, it used self destruct! Holy shit, it killed me! Wow, so Paul grew to level 23 just off that Weezing because Sergeant Sting died. That asshole blew up on his last Pokemon. He's like, suicide, blow up, and then boom, and he lost. What a fucking retard. You have proven your worth. Thank you, Koka. Here, take the soul badge. So we got the soul badge, and also $4,200, which is not bad. So now that you have the soul badge, the defense of your Pokemon increases. It also lets you surf outside of battle. Great, take this too. And we received the TM06, whatever that may be. It contains Toxic. It is a secret technique over 400, 400 years old. My god. That is an old move. Anyways, guys, we're going to leave the video at that note. So uh, stick around for next time, and we're going to do a whole bunch of cool shit. So I uh, will see you later.